one party last night. Aaron met a couple of guys, and we got them in this morning. Dean and Ron, welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you? First of all, thank you so much for breakfast. I was kidding about that last night, but I'm what really What happened was, it. Aaron was talking to the boys last night, and, and uh, the subject of bringing us breakfast came up, and uh, they weren't going to do it. Until I went on the air this morning and said they should bring us breakfast because we saved your country back in World War II. Yeah. <laughs> Once again. You didn't take offense to that, did you, Dean? It's what got me here this morning, that's get, sure. Get close to the mic. Everybody's got to hear this voice. Um, that's what got me here this morning. It wasn't It wasn't Aaron. <laughs> oh. You're practically wow. swooning over that dialect, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It's great. All the ladies love it. Even Ron, you, were, you, know, you guys were commenting last night, like, unbelievable, you know? That's how me and him met. We met on a cruise ship. Just, uh, just he's such a nice fella and nice family, so we just hooked up six, seven years ago and been friends ever since. That's oh, great. How long have you been uh, in town? I came in last Friday and just to see friends and uh, been here since then. So I'm heading out tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow evening. Did you have fun at the 501? Oh, it was brilliant. It was, <laughs> what was really funny is that I was just sat there on my own with my shopping, just with, with nobody there, didn't know anybody, and then all of a sudden this party takes off. I'm like, this is fun. <laughs> it was brilliant. I know. Listen to that voice. I was I'm, on my holidays and it was brilliant. I tried to convince Dean to work with us on the morning show. Oh, I, I think that voice belongs on our station. Yeah, Absolutely. You guys wouldn't pay me enough. <laughs> well, we could work something out. I mean, really. Hey, we don't get paid here. How about you pay me in breakfast? <laughs> we could do that. So last night the debate came up about uh, the line, you had me at hello. Which was in Jerry Maguire. Right. Now, Dean, you said it's also in Bridget Jones' diary. Yeah, it is. But, you know, I'm going to back down a little here. <laughs> Because I'm going to get beat up otherwise. Okay. Well, we'll, but, um, we'll let you explain. It is in in England. There's a the, the same, there's a film, Bridget Jones's Diary, which has got Colin Firth, Hugh Grant, and Renee Zellweger. Right. right. And in that movie, Colin Firth comes in to the house and he has the conversation with um, Renee Zellweger, and she says, "Shut up, you had me at hello," mm -hmm. which is in the English version of. Are you sure you're not confusing Renee Zellweger in Jerry Maguire when she says... But I've never seen Jerry Maguire. I've never seen the film. And that's true. That's all right. You can skip pretty much any Tom Cruise movie at this point. <laughs> so it, it, was, it was you versus how many women last night debating this? There were like five or six women? Yeah, there was a few. Okay. Did anybody... Well, the one, the one girl agreed with you. Yes. Yeah, that she, it could be both movies. Well, she, 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 I think she was kind of peacemaking. She was just kind of sitting there saying, I think it's probably in both, because apparently in America, you kind of cut some scenes out of films, and it may be different here as it is in England. Okay. So being the uh, intense researcher that I am, I went online and did some research on this. <laughs> 55 minutes, 55 seconds into the movie, quote, Mark catches her on the way out of the party and gives his long speech that doesn't end with her saying, you had me at hello. I'm sorry, Dean. I, don't know I, I, I should just, I should just leave. No, no, <laughs> I'm taking no, my bagel. You can stay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep my food though, if that's okay. All right. 6:34 now at 96.9 WBTI. Here's Snow Patrol. This is Chasing Cars. 6.9 WBTI, 638 with Sean and Aaron on Friday. For today, it's going to be sunny with a high of 71. Right now, it's 52 in downtown Port Huron. So we settled the debate about uh, you had me at hello, <laughs> whether it was in Bridget Jones Diary or in uh, Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire uh, Dean and Ron. Dean uh, visiting us from uh, England. And uh, he was arguing with five women last night at the 501 party. And uh, I was backing you all the way, man. I, I looked it up. I was pulling for you. Should've but again, <laughs> but again, you and I both agree that it might be a different cut of the movie over there. Yeah, I think it is. I, I think it's because, you know, I've never seen Jerry Maguire, the mm -hmm. film, and so I know that I've seen this with Colin Firth, so I'm pretty sure there's a different cut. Unfortunately, I can't show you because we're on different lines here. I think we, we're kind of different satellite or digital lines. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Convenient for me. <laughs> yeah, how convenient that it's, uh, you're not going to be able to pull the movie. Now, Colin Firth does say, I like you just as you are. So maybe you were confusing that line with yeah, you I'm had me at hello. <laughs> Do you see the diplomatic <laughs> love going on right here? Everybody walking away from this with a great big hug. Ron, you wanted to do a shout out to somebody? Yeah, I'd just like to say a, a big hello to the uh, to uh, um, Megan Fuller and Kyle from Crosslex, and also to Debbie Fuller and Ron, who have been so fantastic in keeping me in their home since I've been here. All right. Very, Very nice. nice. Very nice. Very nice. Ron, uh, thanks for coming in, Dean. Uh, we hope you have a safe trip back uh, to merry old England. Thank you very much. It's been great and meeting everybody. Take care. Great and meeting.